Oh, hello everyone. It's like Mr. Ed, or it's like, um, oh, I can't remember his, what his name, his name is called, the guy in these ads that used to do the kitty shows. Hello, kitties. Um, I've got some really exciting, a uh, little bit of a play here of the new product that came out of uh, Team Powers uh, in the last fair few weeks. It is the SRS Programmable Servo. Um, I haven't played with it completely yet. I've been having a look at the instructions and everything else. But there's a servo. Completely uh, alloy case, full alloy case, nicely uh, etched, very, very clean. Semi-flexible uh, lead. Um, you can cut it down, obviously, if you wanted to. I wouldn't do it so much that you've got nothing left to uh, extend it with. Very, very nicely made, full alloy, etched everything, no stickers on it, that's fully etched. So that's brilliant, that looks and feels nice. The actual gears are tight as, but I dare say that is because you don't want to have any sort of backlash on the servo when you're actually setting it up. So, and this is the program card. With this, this is how you dictate what the servo does to your heart's content. This will actually allow you to do whatever you want to do uh, in relation to setting it up for response, talk, soft start, all that type of jazz. But that's the little sucker right there. Brilliant looking box, nicely made too, very sturdy. There's no creaky on it. Four buttons, up, down, enter and escape. The instruction manual. <clears throat> it's, it is written fairly easy to understand what you've got. That's page one, and that's page two. And it shows you how you can actually uh, download the PC version, which I've already got downloaded on the PC over there. I'll turn the camera around in a little while to show you and run you through some of the parameters in live mode. But this is good, this is good. I'll, some of the settings, <laughs> some of the settings are wild. You have setting number one, which is motor power, or oh, max power. Um, you can set the power maximum, which is up to 10, um, for torque and speed, but it just, obviously it's gonna generate a fair bit of heat, trying to do that. Turn boost, this is a good one. Turn boost, one to 10 settings, so you go one to 10, okay? It reads, and I am reading from the instruction manual. Control the servo punch, high value provides more punch, but with more heat generated and undesired whipping. In other words, it's manic. You got dead band, which increases high, in, increases the uh, response time, but may have undesired whipping if you go too high on the dead band. Okay. Um, poor, what do we got? Response level, max torque, turn break. In other words, you can set this servo. I'm not going to try and get into the nitty gritty of response level and max torque because just literally saying 1 to 10, 10 is going to make it go like crazy. But this one which says turn brake, drive motor brake earlier at the higher value, it's, it's you know, slightly um, questionable English but that, that you'll sort of get your head around it. High value reduces undesired whipping, okay but lowers the speed of the servo. So basically, it'll stop it from whipping. The higher the value you go, when you turn, it stops that whipping effect, but it'll slow down the servo a little bit. That's gonna be something interesting to uh, play around with. It's got center adjust. So if you can't get this, you have to set your radio EPA to zero, zero. And if you can't get this set up in your car mechanically perfect to zero, and you find that you, if you do your trim on your radio and it goes too much one direction or too much the other direction, and you have this uh, AD, uh, ADT, sorry, ADT, um, you're a bit, you know, you want to get everything perfect. This allows you to do that. Center adjust allows you to center the servo where it needs to be with no effect on your EPA or your trim because it's done in the servo. It doesn't affect what's on the radio. But you have, every, have everything on the radio on zero. Set it on the servo before you go to your radio. Mechanically first, servo, and then radio. Okay, so that's a good idea. That's a real, real good feature. Soft start. <clears throat> 
Servo arm gear will move back to the steering point very slowly when you power up with yes or no. So if you put yes and you turn, it'll come back slowly. If you leave it on no, it's going to have normal speed and stuff like that. Lots of features to play with. I dare say everyone's going to be starting uh, on one and one because you don't want to find yourself uh, putting, say, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and and smacking yourself into the um, border first corner. All right. Now specifications. Da, 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 bum. Uh, operating voltages up to 2S LiPo, which is 7.4 volts. Uh, idle current very low. It's 20 milliamps. Uh, dimensions, dimensions, uh, normal, 89, 49, 12.3, 40 grams in weight. It is a heavy beast, um, that's definite. Torque is, uh, out of the box, torque, I think from memory it is 12, but I will tell you that in a second, I'm going to drop my glasses down for my reading purposes. Uh, 8.4, uh, titanium steel gear set. There's no lash. There's no lash in the gears at all. That's brilliant. Um, 11 kg at 6 volt, 14 kg at 7.4 volt. Operating speed with no load um, at 6 volt, 0.06, and at 7.4 volt, half, 0.05. Dead band width as standard on um, the lower setting is two. So this is insanely good and allows you to uh, do the parameters instead of having to fiddle around with the um, radio or like, <clears throat> pardon me. So everything's set on, the set, set on the servo first and then you go to your mechanically servo, helps you set it mechanically servo, then the last of all uh, trims on the radio so you can try and actually get everything dead dead smooth mechanically 100 percent whereas which is where you're going to start don't rely on uh, electronics to get out of a bad setup do everything mechanically first correct so you throws and all that type of jazz and then do your servo for your finite adjustment for center and then your radio after that now i'm going to plug this onto <coughs> pardon me onto the pc I'm going to spin the camera around and uh, do that so you can see what it actually does. All right, we're now on the actual PC connection. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've got uh, we've got it all set up on Com Six. Uh, load firmware, lease it, uh, LCD upgrade, you can do if they've got firmware to upgrade, um, upload to upgrade it if it comes through and when it comes through you have a test feature which is interesting as you hold the servo you can play with the dead band, uh, broadband and see where it works good and you can see that it actually does work so you, uh, that's a good test there. I've got to read through all this to see what, um, what uh, benefits it does have. Narrow band works uh, I'm just going to leave it in the middle. I'm not going to try and do anything fancy with that because that's going to be a bit of testing and playing around with. Now, maximum power. I've got it set on... Oh, I'm going to leave it on two because I don't want to actually go too crazy on it. Turn boost, I'll go back down to two as well. Dead band, I'll leave on... Uh, that's up to ten. I'll go back down to two as well. I'm not going to go crazy for the first uh, time of trying to test it and see what it, uh, see what works. Response level definitely leave it on two. Torque uh, you can go to ten. I might go to about eight. Turn brake mm, no. I got no idea what that does for certain. So we'll leave it as it is. This will actually adjust it, and it's actually adjusting tiny little parameters, which is good. I'll leave that at zero because I don't have to do anything uh, with that at the moment. On or off for the soft start, I'll leave it on off. And I'll upload the data. Right, servo success, done. That's that's pretty easy to do. You can actually, if you've got a small PC, you can actually do this down at the truck with a small PC, or sorry, a laptop, I should say. Um, it will ask you to download um, C Plus Distribution 2013, which is what it did for um, mine, because mine's a very old little um, laptop, but it works fantastic. 
but it will ask you to do that so do that definitely to make sure that it downloads and works if you've got some, any um, virus protection on close it for the moment and then do it after you've um, uh, open it up again afterwards after you've done the actual <coughs> uh, installation okay so I'm going to save that as a particular file name and I'll do call it a test one whoops can't even spell it moment test one uh, t t3 m 2021 that's my car I'll set it to uh, documents for the moment and I'll pull it down elsewhere <coughs> oops uh, ooh, why is it not going uh, this one I'll have to figure out what's happening there <coughs> Why is that coming up? That shouldn't be. Hmm, that's interesting. I'll worry about it later. Just tell me it's kind of thing I've got the virus protection installed too aggressive. Uh, done. That's uploaded. That's that's a real quick, easy, um, a very simple uh, explanation of the actual software. But the best thing is, if you like fiddling around, especially with this um, uh, power and speed of your um, servo, and you want to try and actually control what the car does on the track this is going to prove to be pretty much of a game changer because you can do everything on the card before you plug it into your um into your receiver <clears throat> and then do the uh mundane changes on your radio i'm losing my voice today sorry about that <clears throat> and then do the monday changes on your radio if and when you need to but this is very very good a very good introduction by team powers for something that's going to do the job and sort of could tell a lot of problems with people getting used to very high speed servos because you can always upgrade all the parameters here as you get better so if you think it's a bit wild at the start and you can't control it too much from the radio this will actually allow you to condole it right right down for your benefit <coughs> man i am losing my voice this is pretty bad uh what i'm going to do now is i will disconnect uh close that off and i will stop this for a moment so there you have it just a real quick uh intro to the servo and the control box that's the servo and that's your control box i'll do more of a how would you call it real in-depth run up on this when i try it on a car haven't chosen haven't decided very tight um connection there so don't yank it from the wires yank it from the plug grab it and pull it out nicely but I'll do a very good, um, very more in-depth run on the uh, parameters of the servo when I've got into a car to test and play around with. Might, might be this weekend. I don't know as yet. I've got so much stuff I've got to contend with. Um, which is good in its way, but then annoying because you're trying to actually make time to be able to do anything else. All right. So thanks for your time, guys. Have a look at the page, um, RAB Hobbies, go to the servos, have a look at that on the page, see what you reckon, read the parameters. It is not a cheap servo, but for someone that's wanting to be able to control a lot of parameters in the way the car drives and do it, and be able to actually build a car with absolute precision, especially the settings on the actual car mechanical and, and the finite settings before you go and start digging into your radio to do the rest, have a look at that. The card is separate to the servo. The servo is built like a brick shit house. There is no play on the gears at all. Titanium hybrid and steel gears. So that's going to last, definitely. Um, 12 month warranty on all the products um, from any undue failures uh, along the way, as long as you don't go smacking into the wall at the end of the straight at full noise and find that the case is split in two, there's no warranty. So, you know, premature, prem, you know, premier, premature failure is covered, um, anything electronic or otherwise. And if you've got a question, you're more than happy. I'm more than happy to answer them online. Just get online, give us a call, ask the questions. More testing in the next few days. But what I can see at the moment is it a big jump from the SR, SRS uh, uh, 1550 that's out at the moment that I've got in my car, which is a monster. This is going to be even more of a monster. And just remember that when you do run it on 7.4, maximum torque 14 kg. This should be really, really good. Card is separate. Servo. Run the servo as it is. It's set at standard parameters, which is 
nothing special if you run it. All the details are on the back of the actual card inside there. You do get some horns and bits and pieces, but I know that everyone likes running alloy horns. Oh, and a quick thing also, for the guys that do run the T3M, the best servo horn I've found so far, because of the height of the deck between the chassis, you don't have a lot of clearance for a really tall uh, horn to give you a lot more leverage, okay? is the year racing um, horn uh, with the little extension that's brilliant that gives you exactly amount a good amount of clear uh, sorry a good amount of leverage because of the height but it m allows the actual uh, link to miss the bottom of the top deck best thing uh, ever um, there's a lot out there that are adjustable but the slots bend to be a big um, gnarly hit but the year racing one is really good but check it out, have a read of the instructions, have a read of the details from the 10 Power site or RAB Hobbies or your friendly stockist in your country, such as 10 Powers UK and so forth, and Malaysia and blah, 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 and the list goes on, and US. They'll have all the details on their sites as well. Big write up as soon as I can. Oh, when am I going to do that? Possibly Sunday night, Monday. I'll give it a good test and see what I can uh, tell you is good bad scary or holy cow i've just snapped the chassis in two because the servo was way too long i mean way too strong have a good night it is thursday it's freezing here in my lovely little shed slash workshop um here's going but it's not, not good enough might have to get a long stronger one we'll see how we go all right take care guys have a good night please just uh, speaking to you guys again ask go crazy happy to answer all right ciao everyone Bye bye